Mina, come on, why? Jesus, freaking gamer here. No, it's not a Dark Souls 2 video. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened? Has the universe just imploded upon itself? Are things dire and desperate? Are we in horrible straits here? No, nothing like that. I just bought some M&Ms tonight, and well, actually, I'm sorry, a few nights ago, and the cover was absolutely hilarious it's a new flavor it's caramel it was okay it wasn't the greatest thing but check this cover out you, you, you saw the you saw the title good good clickbait material right i mean check this thing out i want to get this in the camera nice and well so you can see it look at that look at that he is ripping that dude's head clean off like are you serious i'm trying it looks like the light's reflecting on it weird i'm trying to find an angle where the light doesn't reflect on it as much that's Okay, that was a little bit better. Yeah, and you just see. You just, I mean, it's just like, is he really doing what I think he's doing? I finished the whole bag, but before I threw it away, I just haven't noticed the cover, and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> he just ripped his head clean off. Who thought this was a good idea? I want to give you a high five. You did so good. Eye-catching is... Even though I was late to notice it, when I found, I was just I saw oh it's caramel cool let me try this, I like M and M's and I like caramel good combination. But then when I paid attention to the art on the cover, I'm like, that is insidiously genius. I mean the way I picture it, the way this goes through my mind, it's like you you have your, your board of directors right, the people who are making these important decisions on how you want to represent your company. And you just recently hired Grandmaster Sub Zero. So he's part of your board of directors sitting there all bulky and firm and, you know, probably very, very chilly and cold to those who are sitting by him. You know, I'm sure his hands are like, like ice white. And so they're like, you know, we need, we need something eye-catching. We need something clever. We need something that will get people's attention for this new flavor that we're coming out. And so you have Sub-Zero and he's like, hmm, what would be good to put on the front of this new candy? What will catch people's attention the best? What are some fond memories that I have? And he just goes to a picture of him fighting Scorpion and he just grabs his head, rips out his head, including the spinal column. And if you look at this, if you look at this, not only is he carrying this dude's head, but it looks like a bunch of stuff, a bunch of caramel, is flowing from the head. So it's not just the top of his head. There's a lot of stuff hanging from the end of it. Kind of like a spine? Hangs from your head like the the spine is attached to your brain. <laughs> and so it's just like Sub Zero wins, fatality. And he's like, and he's like, CEO, I have a great plan. It's the best plan. You need to implement this. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I don't want to die. We'll, we'll do it. Jeez. <laughs> best advertising best advertising ever. Part of me wonders like if anyone's been professionally offended by this candy I get cover, I guess is the best word. What do you, what do you call the front of a the of the packaging of a piece of candy? I'm going to call it the cover. So, I wonder if anyone has been a little bit upset or mad about this. I, I just I don't look around for it. I don't I'm not like, "Oh, has anyone gotten offended by the new M&M's wrapper? Is there a controversy around this?" I, part of me hopes so. I hope someone out there was offended and a little bit butthurt by this. I'm a fan of dark humor. I'm a fan of things that are a little off the beaten path. I absolutely love this wrapper. The taste was meh. I'm not sure if I'll buy it again. Just, be, just based on the product itself. It, I don't know. It, just, it was kind of a harder caramel, not a soft caramel. So I was kind of like, eh, it's okay. It's not bad. I, the M&M's peanut butter, those are my favorite. Oh, those are even better than the originals in my opinion. Those things are so good. But if it was came to packaging, if it came to packaging, this would be my favorite candy of all time. This would win hands down. I'm trying to get that reflection off the bottom there. This would be the number one bestseller of all time. I'd buy if it was just on design and on the cleverness of the design. What? Well, I just noticed the what oh, what's inside calories 190. Can you see that on there, guys? The what's inside. Let me move my hand there. 
What's inside? Well, he just dragged it all out. We can see it hanging out from the top of his head there. We know exactly what's inside. And apparently, it's about 190 calories. <laughs> what do you guys think of this craziness? Let me know in the comments down below. I know it's not Dark Souls, it's not video games, but it's my channel. I can do what I want, dog on it. And this was, just, this was just worth covering. So, brief respite. Dark Souls 2 will be back tomorrow. But let me know what you think about this wonderful candy cover in the comments down below. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my stupid little video. Much appreciated. Gotta get those YouTube muns after all. Thank you very much. Love you guys, and God bless.